a last goodbye. Yaya Jame finally leaving Gambia, boarding a plane with his wife, close family members, to Equatorial Guinea. After days of negotiations with West African heads of state, the man who said he would rule Gambia for a billion years was finally forced into exile, bringing to an end his 22-year rule. A small crowd wept as the plane took off. He left for the love of the Gambia. He left for the sake of Africa. He left for the sake of the children, the women, and the development Gambia have been undergoing for the past 22 years under his leadership. Yeah. This man is not a coward. He loved Africa. He loved the Gambia. He sacrificed a lot for this nation. Jame came to power at the age of 29 in a military coup. He then promised to restore democracy. We have no plans to stay alone. All we are here for is to set a, a just system and to put up structures that will ensure that what happened in the past 10, uh, 30 years would never happen again. And as to when we'll hand over, it depends on how soon we are able to put those structures in place. And as soon as those structures are in, in place, we return back to barracks. But instead, he ruled with an iron grip, imprisoning critics and political opponents. Human rights organization accused him and his security forces of torture and enforced disappearances. Jami says he has magical powers. He claimed to have found a special cure for AIDS. But he needed more than magic to take on the young Gambians who in December voted him out of power. After accepting the election results and then refusing to stand down, West African countries sent 7,000 troops into Gambia to force Jami to concede defeat. Those forces have now left after Jami's departure. Adam Abaro is the country's new president. He's currently in Senegal. With Jame gone, he can finally come home, ushering this small West African country into a new era of democracy. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.